high up. Uh, Insignia diesel particulate filter today, DPF. These are going to give you trouble all the time. But there's some good news. Take them off, take them to the petrol station, and jet wash them. Jet wash them. Now, don't get me wrong. Everyone's going to say, "Oh, that's not going to work. For, it's not going to work very long. It's not going to last." It's blah blah. But no. Usually, jet washing them takes enough of the muck out of them so that they will be able to regenerate themselves by themselves. So, what do you do? Jet wash in through the out, in through the, the exhaust outlet, also through the inlet. So, alternate between in and out to actually shift the dirt and move it out. Um, easy to do, um, petrol stations have a decent jet wash, um, there you go. But listen, you're probably thinking, oh god, yeah, fine, it's easy to say that with it this off and on the floor. But it's not actually as hard as you think to get them off. And I'll show you. First of all, clamp at the top, 116mm bolt. This, here, two 13mm bolts either side and then two 13mm bolts underneath. You need to take both off, the blank bracket and the clamp. So you get those two from underneath, you get these two from on top, that you undo from on top. Um, you've then got two 15mm bolts down here, I'll show you from underneath, um, two 15mm bolts there that come off, three here, on the exhaust, and the exhaust then moves away really easily, no drama to shift it at all. And then you've got your heat shields that were on the top. One, sorry, it goes that way up. So your heat shields that were at the top, you've got one, two, sorry, two, three, four, five, and six, and then one in the middle. So that's easy enough. Um, You've got your one little pipe, this actually blew on me, there's one little pipe which goes here, which is off, which is the sensor, comes off, um, that pipe blew on me. And then the great thing is, remember you've got an insignia, so even things like the bolts, the nuts that are uh, on the exhaust, you notice, notice there well, on installation, they've obviously put copper never sees on it from the factory, so that's good. Um, and even things like your sensors are fairly easy to um, to get out. So all in all, it shouldn't be a tough job. It took me about mm, half an hour to get this out. Um, probably take me a little bit longer to get it back in. Um, and yeah, don't be scared of it, guys. Don't be scared of it. You just you do need to get the car up, and you do need to get the belly pan off. Um, so there's the belly pan. That comes off with a couple of those just quarter turn screws. You do actually have to rip this front piece off so you can get the whole belly pan down because otherwise it only just flaps down. But that's not too much of a drama. And yeah, jet washing it. I mean, even with the petrol station I just went to that had a pretty crappy jet wash, um, I got a lot of crud out of that. And I mean, we were at a stage where, as I say, it was so blocked, it blew that little sensor pipe. Um, don't worry about gaskets because both of these are steel-lipped gaskets. So if you really want to, you see this steel-lipped gasket. If you feel that your, um, if you feel that that might not seal, all you do is you just um, get it on something, like maybe that, not like that, but get it on something and just tap the edge so you get a lip all the way around it. Tap that with a hammer so you get a lip, and that then will sort of that will then crush down and cause it and create a decent seal. The biggest problem of the job, actually, is getting this clamp off. That is actually pretty challenging to do because it is pretty strong and it just doesn't really want to come off very easily. Uh, two sensors is that one and then there's the oxygen sensor. 